you already know why I'm having a bad day. My sister is a cave dweller smasher. In my house, on this land. I just want to let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to fuck this relationship up. And it's going to be so fun. Y'all heard this this wild story? This lady who went by an AKA on social media, black chick who is about as racist as you can get. So she basically thought she could get away with her racist tirades because she went under a different name. But little did she realize how good the internet sleuths truly are. And it came back and bit her in the butt. Let's check out the story. Black supremacist teacher appears to have resigned after her racist tweets went viral. A Texas teacher has resigned after racist statements went viral, according to statements from the school district. Mesquite Independent School District confirmed in a statement Tuesday that a teacher resigned from Thomas Elementary School in Texas after the district became aware of racist statements made on the teacher's Twitter account. Quote, Mesquite ISD became aware of a series of alarming racist statements posted to the ex formerly Twitter account of a teacher at Thomas Elementary. Upon learning of this situation, our personnel staff began an immediate investigation. The statement read, as of this morning, the employee is no longer a part of the Mesquite ISD organization and is not eligible for rehire. Due to privacy restrictions, Mesquite ISD cannot comment on the details of the personnel matter. Nevertheless, the highly offensive statements posted to her ex account do not reflect the values and standards of Mesquite ISD. And the district condemns and the district condemns them in the strongest terms. The teacher's racist tweet originally went viral when the popular account Libs of TikTok shared them. I love libs of TikTok. They have put so much of this uh, woke leftist ideology, progressive ideology out in front of all of us for the world to see, which has been extremely helpful over the last few years. MISD was unable to confirm the name of the teacher, but confirmed that the compilation made by libs of TikTok was, quote, relevant to the case, to this case, according to a statement received by the Daily Caller. In tweets made by a teacher named Danielle Allen, she expressed outrage after she found her sister having sex with a white male classmate, who she repeatedly referred to as a quote unquote cave dweller, and claimed she would do everything in her power to ruin the relationship. It says, according to Libs of TikTok, but I'm going to show some of the video footage here. She actually is not according to Libs of TikTok. This is her actually making these statements. Allen reportedly labeled herself as a quote unquote black supremacist in her Twitter bio. Other tweets associated with the account included, include her claiming that white people are evil and asking, why shouldn't I hate white people? Unquote. After her post went viral, she initially gloated that she would not lose her job over them per the compilation. The account has been deleted and Danielle Allen was not immediately available for comment to confirm to confirm whether she was a teacher who resigned. Not that I believe she would even speak on this matter at all, if it was her. Self-proclaimed, this is according to Libs of TikTok. We'll check out the old girl's, her page, if it's still up, probably not. But they took a, a screenshot, a recording of her Twitter feed. But let's. this is what they wrote. Self-proclaimed black supremacist goes on unhinged, unhinged racist tirade after finding out her sister slept with a white man. She vows to destroy the relationship before asking her boyfriend to, quote, come and kill him for me, unquote. She is reportedly a teacher in Texas and has a history of anti-white racist tweets. All right, let's blow this up and get into this. Let this play. First, she says, woke up to my sister being the biggest disappointment I've ever seen. Look at the color of the arm wrapped around her. And I'm assuming those are crying emojis. My poor sis laid up with a pasty in my effing house. Oh, girl's tripping. And then she says, I'm inconsolable. How many white classmates does she have? My sis letting all of Europe take turns on her. The disappointment. The disappointment I feel right now. Our parents raised us better than this. 
So she clearly learned this. This isn't just something she got from anywhere. It sounds as if she got this from her parents, which I'm not surprised. Then it says, yes, and my classmate, and my classmate Matt is here, just FYI. And I guess this is the tweet that she shared or the text message exchange she shared, she's sharing with her sister. That's the guy in the black truck. Yep, he's white. All of them are. L M A O O O. It's true. So, here it goes. Y'all already know why I'm having a bad day. My sister is a cave dweller smasher in my house on this land. I just want to let y'all know that I'm about to do everything in my power to fuck this relationship up. And it's going to be so fun and so satisfying to watch. Now, I haven't seen if this has made the mainstream media, CNN, MSNBC, the alpha, other alphabet networks. But, but do yourself a favor. Just think on this for a second. Imagine if the colors were switched and that this was a white person making this statement about their white brother or sister dating someone who's black. Just imagine the traction that this would have gotten. This would be everywhere. You could not, you couldn't get away from it. But as far as I've seen, he has made some local news websites and things like that. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to get the viral traction that if the ethnic groups were switched, how that would be everywhere. And part of the reason racism or hatred towards white folks is pretty acceptable these days. It takes something pretty extreme to get people to, to get someone to lose their job and a pretty big public outcry. Like I'm sure this got on social media, fans, followers of lib, libs of TikTok. Once the internet sleuths did, did their job and found out who this individual was, I'm sure word got back and the website or the, the school district was reached and how would it look if a school district is letting somebody with this ideology instruct other people's kids? Wouldn't look good. But I still don't think as, as, as viral as this may get, it still probably won't be a big deal to some folks. You'll have your Joy Reads and some of these other clowns, your Al Sharptons and some of these other clowns on MSNBC probably saying, well, we understand because of all the oppression. Giving this chick a way out. Here she says, had to call my man for backup. I can't believe she has this cave dweller in my freaking house. Did she introduce y'all? No, she didn't. OMG, I'm trying to stay calm. She knows I'm racist. LOL, that man looked like a straight up Trump supporter. Come and kill him for me, Dre. I promise I'll help you hide the body. Bring all four of your guns. Craziness, y'all. Now his next segment, next post goes, like I'm baffled at seeing a white man in my house. I can't believe it. This is supposed to be a Negro only house. I'm so mad right now. I also don't want to cause a scene and embarrass her. I don't know what to do right now. Well, now she's being trying to be considerate, supposedly. Let's see if I can make this out. Today's the first day of school. Can't wait to see all my new students. <laughs> this is a trip. I would not give a damn if a white person had what my bio says because we already know y'all are some evil people. So it's right on brand. And there are definitely white pages on here with my bio and worse. I don't know what that white pages means. Anyway, later she says, why shouldn't I hate white people? Why should I show y'all any love at all? Name a big historic moment where white people did anything for black people out of the kindness of y'all heart, y'all's heart. And then she says, a white man, a good dude, you smoking crack? Wow. Teaching people's kids, y'all. You know, like it's no big deal. Just hatred in her heart. Sad, but not surprising for me. Chilling in my class while Twitter thinks they can take my safe and secure it. Mm. She got a little overconfident, I guess. As far as I can see, she got her job snatched from her. I'm telling you, these people, she, this chick was overconfident, thinking that nothing would happen to her, and she ends up losing her job, and rightfully so.
this person should not be teaching kids. Not with that mindset. Not with that evil mindset. This is this is just a reminder of what's out there, y'all. All this indoctrination, all this woke CRT indoctrination that has taken place over the years. This has people, this is what's got people thinking like this. And this is why I'm doing a multi-part series on the history, the true history of race of, of slavery here in America, which demonstrates what white folks have done in order to help free the slaves worldwide, black slaves, all kinds of slaves worldwide, globally, at no financial benefit to them whatsoever, to themselves whatsoever. Europeans, people in the West, Americans, they went above and beyond because their hearts were pricked, their hearts were transformed. As time went on, they started understanding. It's clear, obviously, they did evil in the past, no doubt about it, but their hearts were truly changed as to the evils of racism. But yet you have people out there, your BLMs, your CRT advocates, your 1619 Project advocates who teach lies, who preach nonsense and get people to remain or become even more divisive, remain separate. Before you go, check out this video right here. I think you'll find it helpful.